All right, so here we are with Vermeer 2 um, with, the, with the complete land mod. I've now replaced that whole rear panel, um, redid um, the WBTs over on this side, uh, um, replaced those, um, and I did some, you know, internal uh, silver and gold, uh, where are we right there, this, yeah, the internal silver and gold wire here. Instead of following the trace, I just jumped right off the, the resistor, so we don't have to even go through that trace. And then the ground right there, um, they're pure silver, um, pure silver uh, uh, inputs, or outputs rather, and um, pure silver wiring, or actually silver gold on the outside, or on the output. Um, this whole board up here is a new digital board, and it includes the LAN portion, so now we have a streamer on board, and we can play a high resolution material direct from, uh, through the, the, the network. Um, and uh, so inside here is the new digital board. It's quite a bit different. It looks much more, um, it looks newer and just more advanced, you know, less chips and uh, more things integrated. Um, and then here is the, uh, I put this up, this is, runs the power over for this board um, with a nice shield on it to keep it from catching any noise. Um, and then on the flat ribbon cables, I went ahead and put some uh, RF absorber. So this will absorb any high frequency noise off these cables. Um, and, uh, and we're ready to rock. So I'm going to go put this thing back together and we'll see, uh, we'll see how she sounds. See ya. Okay. So here's how easy it is to update firmware on the Vermeer 2. Um, when, uh, it's actually more than that. I, I actually turned it into the LAN version. It's a full upgrade with the board and everything. We saw that. Well, they send with it a little key. Uh, and this is the same way you do the, the firmware. Um, I turned it on and you press menu and you flip on the switch on the back and then it goes into bootloader mode and it says insert USB disk and press face. So we're going to take this little key. This is one of the easiest ones to do. Look, we came around here. It's updating. All we did was we put that little stick in the back and press the phase button on the front and uh, automatically updates for you. Um, and they sent the little key with it too. So there it is. Completed. Remove USB. Okay, so we'll go back here and remove the USB. Now what does it say? Probably say power down. Um, I think that is the last, uh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so let's see, LAN, yep, so now it says LAN on it. Wait, two, three, let's see, what does it say? Two, re the end of the message, okay, the two will restart and be upgraded. Okay, so it's ready to go. There we have it. So she's ready to go, simple as that. All it was was a couple minutes. Uh, we had to put, we just turn it on, press the menu button, and then it's in boot, in boot uh, boot mode and um bootstrap boot log um and uh and then uh we plug the thing into the back the usb and uh press phase and kabam it downloaded it right from here uh or upload whatever um from this little puppy so we'll see how it sounds i'm gonna hook it up in a second here and let's see how she sounds all right 